Knowing how much to eat to reach your fitness goals is a crucial step in actually reaching those goals. So naturally, I searched everywhere for a decent calorie calculator inside of Notion, but I really wasn't too stoked with what I found, so I did what any rational person would do, and I built my own. And you can get it completely for free by clicking the first link down in the description. Now, because you can just go get your own template for free, I'm not gonna go over how to make this because, well, you can just go get it. But I do wanna take the time to go over how to use this calculator and some things to be mindful of. Okay, so once you go ahead and download the template, this is what it's gonna look like. So one reason that I was really excited to build this calculator was for a few reasons. The first one is like most calculators that I've used or made in the past was in something like Google Sheets or Excel. And it's like a static calculator. So you can create your numbers once, but then to get like a new plan or to make adjustments, you have to kind of reset the calculator. Whereas with this Notion calculator, every single row or entry is its own calculation. So what I like about this is that you can, you know, you can plan your cut, you can plan your bulk, you can plan your maintenance phases and have them all in there at once without having to reset the calculator. I also really like this because you can check out different views. You know, this right here is just kind of your typical table view, which in my opinion isn't very helpful, but I also created a timeline view so that you can add dates to your different phases here and then sort of plan them out so you can visually see your journey along the way. I made a couple other views here as well, like a gallery view, so you can sort of see those different phases just at a glance. And same thing here with the board, but it, it looks pretty much the same, but it's just broken up here by the different phase, whether that's a deficit, maintenance, or surplus. So that's just some different views and stuff like that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual calorie itself. So if you go ahead and click new here, it's going to open this up and we'll just go ahead and full screen this. So how to use the calculator is super simple. You come in here and you can select select which phase, you know, whether you're going for maintenance, whether you're going for deficit, whether you're going for a surplus. Now, this doesn't actually do anything other than just categorize, you know, this calculation. Uh, but for this example, we'll go ahead and select a deficit. And then here you can go ahead and select your start and end date. So we'll go ahead and select Monday because diet starts Monday. Uh, and we'll go ahead and select an end date. We'll give ourselves a couple months here, maybe the end of September. And there we go. And then this calculation right here, this just calculates the number of weeks between your start and end date. So you can know how many weeks are in between your start and end date. Now, another reason I was really excited to build this calendar, calendar calculator was to be able to have like drop downs instead of just having like specific imperial or metric and then having to have a conversion. That's what I saw in a lot of the calculators that I found during my research. And I really liked the idea of just having, uh, you know, being able to select here. So you can go ahead and select your unit system. I'm here in the States. So I'm just going to select imperial, select your gender. Um, hopefully that's not a controversial one right there. Then you can go ahead and select your activity level. Um, now, these are going to uh, change your maintenance calories, your total daily energy expenditure. And my advice for this one would be if you are kind of like, you know, oh, maybe I'm in between very active and moderately active, choose the less active option just to kind of give yourself that buffer. In my experience coaching people over the years, that tends to be a little bit better route to go than try to like overestimate your activity. So I'll go ahead and just select moderately active at your age and years, your weight height and then this is going to be in inches or centimeters depending on what you chose here so don't put like six foot four i'll put 76 inches and then boom now we have our calories needed now calories needed this is your maintenance and if you were doing maintenance you could just leave it here but even if you are choosing to do maintenance i would advise you to fill out the rest here so there's three more things that you need to fill out here in order to get the calculator rocking and rolling and that's the goal adjustment so this is where you're choosing your deficit maintenance or surplus and I did it in 5% increases here. So, you know, zero would obviously be maintenance and anything that's positive is a surplus. Anything that's negative is a deficit with some sweet color coding here. So because we chose deficit up here, let's choose a deficit. Let's choose something like a 15%, nice moderate uh, deficit. Now we can go ahead and see the calories have adjusted here. So these are our adjusted calories or our calorie deficit in this case. We can see, you know, the maintenance was 3,200 and 2,720 for the adjusted calories. Now here comes the really cool part and that is the macro calculations built into the calculator. So before I've made previous calculators, even inside a notion where it was like a calorie calculator and then a separate macro calculator where you kind of had to 
fiddle with the macros to hit your calories and it was it was just not ideal this is a lot more straightforward and just all in one place so the first thing you're going to do after selecting your uh you know adjustment is choose your protein level now when you go to choose your protein level there are four different options low is set to 0.7 grams of protein per pound of body weight medium is 0.85 grams of protein per pound of body weight normal is one gram of protein per pound of body weight and high is 1.15 grams of protein per pound of body weight um, just some suggestions that I have within there and for this we'll go ahead and select normal and then the last thing to fill out here is whether you prefer carbs or fats so again having coached people over the years taking a look in the research the things that really matter when it comes to losing fat building muscle changing your body calories and protein those are the two most important things if you hit those two numbers for most people in most scenarios unless you're like some sort of freak athlete or this or that or trying to compete at a high level it doesn't really matter where your carbs and fats come from if you just want to look better this summer with your shirt off you know lose a little bit of fat gain a bit of muscle hit your calories hit your protein you'll be good to go so i wanted to make this as easy as possible here uh, for the carbs and fats right you know you could leave it right here just have your calories and protein and be good to go you know go plug this into my fitness pal or chronometer or whatever you're using but i did want to give you the ability to get those numbers from carbs and fats as well so what i did here is i made a selection here and you can choose carbs or fats now this is a preference do you prefer more carbs or do you prefer more prefer more fats and what will happen so if you choose fats what it's going to do it's going to take your adjusted calories minus the calories from protein and then it's going to give 60 percent of the remaining calories to fat and 40 percent of the remaining calories to carbs and if you choose carbs it's going to do just the opposite so it's going to take your adjusted calories subtract the calories from protein it's going to give 60 percent of the calories to carbs and 40 percent of the calories to grams so one other thing i did in here if you guys are you know doing the calculations saying whoa Eric the calories from the macro zone add the calories the adjusted calories you're right and that's because I put in these formulas uh, a way to round the numbers so it was a nice round number ending in a five or a zero so yeah it's not gonna add up perfectly but it doesn't really matter if you get close to these numbers you should be good to go and that being said too, calculators in general they're they're just a starting point right you know whether you use my calculator some other calculator you google it whatever they're all just a starting point um, and should be treated as such so don't rely on these as gospel that being said one more thing I do want to point out here is keeping an eye on the fats here right you don't want to go like crazy low on your fats you can run into some health issues some hormone issues that's not gonna be good and the scenario in here where you would run into that would be if you chose an extremely low deficit and then you also chose that you prefer carbs so you're already on low calories and then you're uh, allocating less uh, calories to fat that number could get a little bit low so just be aware of that now getting your calories and your macros set up is the sort of first step but you got to be able to turn Turn those calories and macros into actual meals which is why you should check out my meal planning notion template that I built there'll be a video up here somewhere so go check that out Psst, you can get a free download for that too so go check that shit out and the meal planning template calorie calculator they're all part of a they're all part of a broader, bigger picture. And that is Project Reset. Project Reset is my all-in-one health and fitness notion tracker, which you can go check out. Uh, that'll also be linked down in the description as well. And I'm gonna give you a little secret here. If you get the calculator or the meal planning template, you can get a discount in a couple days in an email. So just like, yeah, don't unsubscribe and you'll get it in like a couple days. But yeah, that's that. So whether you're a fitness coach who runs their business inside of Notion, or you're just someone who's trying to get in shape for summer, look a little bit better with their shirt off when they go to the beach, the Notion Calorie and Macro Calculator will help you reach your goals and just plan out your fitness journey. So that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoy the calculator. Let me know down in the comments if you think this is cool. And be sure to give the video a like and subscribe for more videos. We'll see you next time. Peace.